Hi everyone and welcome back to Isles and ESL Expert TV with me Keith Mason and I'm your expert. So um, today we are going to look at pronunciation. Okay, not pronunciation, but pronunciation, shun. Okay, British pronunciation. So there's American pronunciation and British pronunciation. Some people prefer American and some people prefer British. I know the Americans love the British. everybody and welcome back to Isles and ESL Expert TV and that's with Keith Mason that's me who is your expert so we're continuing in a series that we're doing about British pronunciation um, not American pronunciation British pronunciation so uh, if you want American pronunciation you need to go somewhere else I'm gonna teach you how the British pronounce Okay, so we reached, um, where are we? We reached coupon last time, so we're going to carry on now with the D, which is the word didn't, didn't, okay, didn't. Now you can hear there, it's not did not, okay? Some people want to say did not because that's what the nt replaces, it replaces not, okay? But you don't say that. You say didn't. Isn't that right? So there, another one. Is not, isn't, isn't that right? So that isn't right. Yes, it is right. Didn't, didn't. So not, did not, didn't. There's many of these contractions. Remember the word contractions that I've taught you where it, making things smaller, missing out letters or making words smaller. There's many of these in the British language, particularly with not, um, isn't, is not, isn't, wasn't, was not, wasn't. Okay, so it's a, a short nt at the end of the word. Nt, didn't, isn't, wasn't. Okay, excellent. Next word is talking about something that I do, which is education, education. I'm an educator um, and I'm in, my, my job is in education, education. So education is about learning, isn't it? Okay, education. The next word now, here we have a very tricky word. Why is this so tricky? It's tricky because the word is a French word. It originally comes from the French. You see, Britain has a very long history where we've been ruled by um, the Romans and we've been ruled by the Germans and we've been ruled by the French. And so we have a lot of French words in our language. And this one is pronounced entrepreneur entrepreneur isn't that difficult so um what it means is someone who is willing to start a business someone who puts invest money takes a risk in starting a business an entrepreneur it's pronounced instead of entra entra preneur it's the french pronunciation en See, in French, they, they use the nose, en. Entrepreneur, okay? An entrepreneur. Have a go at it. Entrepreneur. Okay, the next one, exciting. Exciting. So hopefully, it'll be very exciting waiting for my next video. Maybe not, <laughs> but I can hope, can't I? exciting exciting so the very quick change between the x and the c exciting and the emphasis on the sight exciting next word we have 
executive, executive. It's almost like an, with the exciting, it's almost like you have an egg at the start, isn't it? Exciting, executive, executive. Okay, so it's almost like an egg sound at the start as you pronounce the X, executive. Now, an executive is someone who is maybe a senior manager in a company. That would be an executive. Next word is another tricky one, but I've already taught you this one. If you've listened to my previous videos, maybe the one about films and the one about music, I would have taught you this. Another French word. So instead of saying gen genre, we say genre, j genre, okay, genre, and it's a on the French through your nose, on genre. It's a French sounding word because it is a French word, genre, and that means different types of film, different types of music. So jazz, pop, uh, dance music. They're different genre of music, okay? Horror films, um, comedy films, different genre of film, genre. The last one on this list is another French word. So many French words in English, on there? So this one is pronounced not I don't know, gourmet. No, it's not. It's pronounced gourmet. Gourmet, because the French don't pronounce the T at the end. English can be so difficult, can't it, sometimes? Because we have so many influences on our language. So one word might be pronounced one way, and then the same word, or a similar word, would be pronounced completely differently. So this one's a French word, gourmet. What is a gourmet? Well, a gourmet is someone who really, it's usually used with food. So if you're someone who really knows your food, who loves eating, and um, maybe uh, you might work for a magazine and you uh, try different um, meals. I guess I'm a bit of a, a gourmet because my wife cooks me all these different meals for me to taste. And so I'm a bit of a gourmet. I know quite a lot of different foods. So a gourmet. It, you can be a gourmet in other things, but usually it refers to food. Okay, gourmet. Okay, let's move on. Okay, the next one. Okay. Now, that looks like hand and some. So you would think it would be hand some, but it's not. We don't pronounce the D. So it's handsome. That person is very handsome. And the sum is, is shortened to a sum, sum. So it's handsome, shortened, okay? That person is very handsome, okay? Not handsome, but handsome handsome. Now, some people say that I'm not handsome. No, 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 no. I wasn't going to say that. I'm a bit of an idiot. Okay, an idiot. Someone who's a bit stupid, does stupid things, uh, like making videos and posting them on YouTube. Um, I might be called a bit of an idiot. Okay, an idiot. So it's quite a, a short word, idiot. The I-O-T, it's not idiot. You don't pronounce the O-O-T, it's idiot. So it's almost like a U when you pronounce it, idiot. Okay, so maybe I'm a handsome idiot. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not handsome, but definitely an idiot. OK, I'm going to stop there and we will do some more next time. It's been lovely spending some time with you. I hope you've enjoyed it and I uh, hope it's helpful for you. And I really look forward to seeing you next time when we'll carry on with the, the rest of the list. Take care. Bye bye.